What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. We've got another Shark Scientist reacts to Shark Attack videos today and boy is it a goodie. So coming up later we've got a pretty dicey encounter with a Mako Shark in Florida, the classic influencer nurse shark bite and the infamous Eric Ritter clip from a good few years ago. Before I start though I just wanted to let you all know about the new memberships feature right here on Shark Bites. If you absolutely love the channel you can now become a member of Shark Bites and support me as a content creator right here on YouTube. For as little as £3 a month which I think is just shy of four dollars for you lot across the pond you can get access to a few extra perks here on the channel so you can get these cool little badges where longer members can upgrade their badge each month that they are a member alongside this you'll also get priority response to comments and the ability to vote in some members only polls where you can decide what kind of videos you want to see on the channel there's also a members only shark bites discord channel that you can join giving you a direct line to me and other members of shark bites if membership doesn't really float your boat but you still want to drop in a little monetary thanks we've now got the super thanks option below Below every video. So if you wanted to say thank you and help fund the channel, then you can choose to donate a one-off payment. For those of you that don't want to do either of those two things, because let's be honest, times are pretty tough right now, that's okay. I don't blame you. Shark Bites will continue to be completely free for all of you, bar the odd pesky YouTube ad. So in reality, nothing is going to change. Don't worry. It's a completely optional thing to do. And please know that the vast majority of the money that I get from Shark Bites will always continue to be invested into the channel via new branding, equipment upgrades, and giveaways. So any money that you choose to donate will go back into the channel, mostly. I mean, I might buy the odd beer with it, but most of it's going to go back into the channel. So if you want to be a Shark Bites member or send over a super thanks, thank you so much. It really, really does help out. And if you don't want to do either of those two things, it's all good. Right, enough of that money spiel. God, I actually really, really hate doing that. On to the actual video. As always, I do like to preface these videos with the fact that I am not a shark attack specialist. This isn't my speciality area of shark science. I do know sharks fairly well though, and I can give you my objective opinion on these video clips from a shark behavior perspective. And as always, when watching these videos, please do remember that shark attacks are exceptionally rare. They do happen and there's no denying that, but your chances of being bitten or killed by a shark are extraordinarily low. Right, let's have a look at some of these clips. Okay, so as usual, this is a relatively short clip, so I'm just going to keep it on a loop for you all. Reading up on some of the background of this incident, it's a good distance offshore. I think I remember reading that they were about 70 miles off the coast of Florida. So we are way out in pelagic open ocean territory here. Anyway, this spearfisher looks down and <laughs> a very decent sized mako shark has come completely out of nowhere pretty close to him. I actually think if we slow this down here, you can see it's chomped down on one of his fins, which is pretty gnarly. So looking at this incident then, the first clue would be to point out the fact that this guy is spearfishing. Mako shark attacks on humans are pretty rare on the whole, mostly because these are a pelagic open ocean species, so the chances of someone encountering one of these sharks while out in the water are really slim. I can't remember the numbers for mako shark attacks, I think it might be around 10 unprovoked. There's probably been more than that over the years, but I think those are the stats. I think it's 10. I'm sure one of you is going to let me know in the comments if that's wrong. <laughs> so the chances of this happening randomly are very rare, unless you're out spearfishing. Spearfishers have reported a bunch of dicey interactions with mako sharks down the years, and they are known to get particularly aggressive around speared fish. Now, the chap in this video, I think he's called Chad. Oh man, <laughs> of course it would be Chad. <laughs> Anyway, Chad claims that at the time that this was filmed, there were no speared fish in the water. They hadn't caught any or even fired any shots. So supposedly here, there's no dead fish, nor is there any blood in the water. If we take Chad for his word on this, and I think we probably have to because I can't see any evidence there was any fish in this video, then this particular incident is pretty unusual. Because mako sharks are a pelagic open ocean species, they don't really tend to be that territorial. I mean, admittedly, we don't know that much about about their home ranges and how big those home ranges are. But because of those reasons, I don't think that this is a territoriality display here. So it probably leaves us with two options. The first is that this was a predatory attack, which based on what Mako's predominantly feed on, which is fish, I'm not really buying. Or the second option is that this mako shark has begun to associate food with offshore spearfishers. Perhaps at some point in the past, this mako's managed to get some fish off the line and it's begun to associate small offshore boats and people in the water with a nice fishy meal. At the end of the day though, if that mako shark is hungry enough, which out in the open ocean is entirely possible, it will eat what it can to survive. It's impossible to know the physical condition of that mako based off that brief bit of footage we've got there. There was an incident in the Red Sea, I think it was back 
back in the 1970s, maybe, where a particularly emaciated and malnourished mako shark attacked a swimmer. So these sharks have been known to attack humans out of desperation. Then again, though, that mako shark in the Red Sea had ventured into shallower waters, which is exceptionally rare for makos to do. So that particular incident, you're talking about a shark that's well and truly desperate. The shark that we're seeing here is still out in the open ocean, so it's not got that desperate yet to go closer into shore. I'm a little bit split on this one, so let me know what you think in the comments. I reckon there's a fair few of you that are going to back predation here. Okay, next up here, I think we're over to Australia. I read somewhere that this is at Lady Musgrave Island on the Barrier Reef. Pretty quickly here, Manny, the young lad in the video, appears to have caught a fish and he plonks it on the deck before he gets whacked by this shark. <laughs> so this is obviously a pretty scary encounter for the kid, but it is kind of funny. I'm only laughing here because I read that Manny was absolutely fine after this with barely a scratch on him and he took it like an absolute champ. But this shark has just got its timing completely wrong and gone headfirst into Manny and missed the fish completely. <laughs> Looking at the shark here, it's tough to see exactly what species it is, but my money's on black tip reef shark, which are pretty common across the barrier reef in Australia. They're usually super chilled out sharks, but you can see here, they can get pretty riled up when there's a dead fish in the water. But look at this, it's like something out of a cartoon. <laughs> The shark is just a second too late on that strike. Hang on, hang on. I can't resist doing a little edit here. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Manny thankfully was absolutely fine from this. I think he might have had the tiniest little scratch on his chest, but that was it. In some interviews they did afterwards, Manny was just super happy that they'd gone viral on TikTok. That's a pretty cool story to be able to tell all your classmates when you get back to school though. And Importantly, he's got the footage to back this up. I think I did see a few people in the comments claiming that this video was fake or staged. I think they might have been saying that someone was underneath the boat with a dead black tip reef shark and then launched it at Manny. They were saying that there's no way that the person filming wouldn't have jumped forwards to try and save the kid, but I think it was his brother filming as opposed to a parent. So if that was my brothers, they would definitely carry on filming. <laughs> I guess the video does end quite quickly, so something has definitely been trimmed intentionally there. But realistically, I don't think this is fake. You can see this mouth movement from that reef shark where the hyostylic jaw is protruding forwards and you can kind of see it under the skin. So yeah, this is definitely a real shark that is alive. Manny even mentions about the shark right before he gets whacked. So that particular shark has clearly been interested in that speared fish for a little while while he's been swimming around. But yeah, from a shark behavior perspective, it's probably mistaken identity here. In fact, actually, I don't even think it's mistaken identity. I think it's just a really, really badly timed lunge from that shark who is clearly going for the fish and not the kid. Oh, there's a bee inside. A bee's just floated to the shark bite studio. <laughs> now what am I gonna do? I think he's about to crawl on the camera. I've got to get him out. Right, bee crisis averted. Next up, this is another one from Australia, I think, purely based on those accents alone. Again, it's pretty short, so we're just gonna loop it. So we've got this dude thrashing around in the water on the right with some kind of small cage in his hands. Looks maybe like a bird cage before this tiger shark appears to come out of nowhere and brushes up right alongside him. I wouldn't really class this one as an attack, to be honest. It's more of a close call. Now, I've seen this video a bunch of times down the years. I think it's got nearly 10 million views or something like that. And Previously, when I've only glanced at it, I thought that the shark had literally just come out of nowhere and gone for this guy. But it wasn't until recently when I watched it again and slowed it down that I spotted something a little bit untoward. If you watch this section of the video slow down, you can see the tiger shark doing something a little bit weird towards the side of the boat. It's sort of bends inwards and stays at the surface of the water. So if this was a free swimming tiger shark, there's no way it does this. And then if we pause it just here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see the fishing line, which obviously tells us that this shark has been hooked and they've got it on the end of that line. So the whole thing has just been completely set up for some stupid prank video that this channel has decided to make. And don't get me wrong, just because the shark is hooked, it doesn't mean it can't do any damage. It could easily still have gone for the guy in the water, but it's so knackered from being caught, it realistically just wants to get away. It's a really weird and cruel thing to do to an animal, to be honest. And I did do a little bit more digging behind the channel and you can see it's a channel that's dedicated to four Aussie blokes surfing and taking the piss. Apparently they've been called the Australian version of Jackass and we all know what I think about those plonkers when they interact with sharks. Ah, but some of you new subscribers actually might not have seen that video. So if you haven't, make sure you stick around to the end screen of this video where you're gonna be able to watch a previous Shark Bites episode we did where I reacted to Jackass star poopies getting bitten by a Caribbean reef shark. It's as stupid as you think it sounds. I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't really expect anything less from this particular channel making this video, which is the kind of channel that uses these thumbnails to get the clicks. So yeah, definitely not an attack for this one here. This is just a very tired tiger shark that's trying to get off the end of a fishing line. 
Not that I'd have to remind you all, but please, please don't do this. Okay, here we go. Up next, we've got the pretty infamous Eric Ritter bull shark bite. So pre-warning for the squeamish amongst you, there's a little bit of gore in this one. <laughs> Eric Ritter was always a pretty controversial guy in the shark science realm. I think he used to say something like, there's no such thing as a dangerous shark, only a dangerous situation. And it led to him doing a fair few maverick type stunts with sharks that I didn't really agree with. So for a little bit of context on this one, I believe Eric was filming for a Discovery Channel Shark Week show with TV host Nigel Marvin. I think they were talking about how sharks don't really tend to pay attention to people in the water when the conditions are right and they were trying to demonstrate that on film. Anyway, from the video clip here, we can see that they're surrounded by a fair amount of sharks. There's lemons, black tips, and of course, some bull sharks there. He's apparently got a spotter on land who's shouting out the positions of the sharks to Eric and keeping him aware of what's going on behind him. So for whatever reason, either the spotter doesn't shout it or Eric doesn't hear it, but this particular bull shark sneaks up behind him and takes a big old bite out of Eric's calf. I think reading around this incident, there's definitely bait being thrown into the water to draw those sharks in. So you've already got a feeding event going on here. But supposedly according to someone else who was on the scene, a bit of bait was thrown about five meters away from Eric, which was snatched by a remora, which then darted towards Eric and then the bull shark followed it and ended up biting him. Now, obviously we don't see any of that happening in the video here. So we can't really say that that happened for sure. What did happen though was that that bull shark did some serious damage to Eric's calf. And I think after he was helped from the water, he was flown to a hospital where they tried to save his life. The sheer amount of blood that he's losing from that wound is easily enough to kill him. So what's gone on here? Well, it's tough to say exactly. And our video footage of the incident is a little bit chopped up. But I think what we've got here is a feeding event with bait in the water, lots of sharks stirring at the bottom and making that water a little bit murky. And it's led to that bull shark going in for a test bite. I don't think the shark has actively gone into predate on Eric here. They were in the water supposedly for a good 45 minutes before this incident happened. So I think this is simply a little exploratory test bite to see if Eric's calf is something that would be palatable. The shark clearly lets go after a few seconds seconds and swims off. And I think if that shark really wanted Eric, he wouldn't have survived the incident. It looks like they had a relatively easy time getting out of the water there as well. So the shark has clearly headed off at this point. It's another big one here though, guys, of always keeping your eyes on that shark. We've got that classic demonstration of the bull shark coming in from behind as Eric has not got his eyes on it. And as soon as you turn your back in this situation, the danger levels go up dramatically. Don't get me wrong. It's a difficult situation to keep your eye on 15 different sharks all swimming around you at once. But I do think this is an example of a daredevil stunt that's gone wrong. When you're baiting the water and you've got slightly murky conditions, it's a recipe for a bad interaction with a shark. What do you reckon on this one then, guys? Are you all agreeing with me on the exploratory test by angle thing? Let me know in the comments. Okay, here we go. We've got another influencer clip here. So I'm not sure on the location of this one, but I think those are tawny nurse sharks. So we're talking Indo-Pacific, maybe somewhere near Australia. Anyway, this free diver dives down amongst the sharks and isn't really checking out his surroundings, particularly behind him. And this nurse shark takes a nice chunk out of his hand. <laughs> Ouch. It's a pretty decent sized nurse shark there as well. So it could definitely cause a fair whack of damage. It realizes pretty quickly though, that the hand that it's just sucked into its mouth is not a nice food item and spits it back out. So I think here we've got a nice case of mistaken identity. The free diver isn't wearing any dark gloves or a wetsuit. So you've got a large amount of exposed skin there that reflects off the light under the water and ends up looking a little bit like a bit of fleshy fish. Usually at places like this as well, the whole reason there's a bunch of sharks there in the first place is because they're being provisioned with food. So. I'm almost 100% sure these sharks are being fed bits of fish scraps. And in this example, the guy's hand has simply ended up looking like a little bit of fleshy fish that's been chucked into the water right in front of his face. And it's just thought, yeah, I'll have that. You can see here in these photos though, the damage that it's done to the diver's hand. I'm actually quite surprised based on the size of that nurse shark that it's not done more damage than that. I think he's got off pretty lightly there. But again, we've got all the classics here, a provision situation, not keeping your eyes on the shark, not wearing gloves or a wetsuit, or even a rash vest or leggings, something to cover up that exposed skin. How many more influencers are going to be bitten by nurse sharks? God, I could do a whole compilation video on influencers and nurse sharks. I think that'd be quite funny. So I do have a few more shark attack video clips, but I think I'm gonna be a dick and make you wait for those. <laughs> if you haven't quite had your fill of these shark scientists reacts to shark attack clips from the internet, make sure you stick around to the end screen where you're gonna be able to click on another one we did right here on Shark Bites. So you can click on that one or you can click on the Jackass Shark Week poopies episode we did here on Shark Bites. So if you want to watch that one, it's gonna appear somewhere here within the next 10 seconds. But for now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please, please do give it a like. You'd be surprised actually how much it helps out the channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below by clicking that big red subscribe 
button. And that way you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.